Welcome back, man dingoes. This is Blot Outdoor Show, and today we're going stealth camping. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm just in this layby next to me old rusty van, and that's where we're going for a stealth camp. If you get through them bushes, through them trees, there's a big old factory behind there. So we're going to try and get round the back of the factory before anyone sees us. And hopefully find a good spot to put my tent up. So, I'm going to get my big rucksack on now. And we'll make a move. How Right, so the factory's closed. There should be no one around here. Where I was parked, there was a few houses over the road. I don't think anyone was looking. And when you get round this corner here, through the trees, there's a couple of houses. So, I need to quickly get past before anyone spots us. So I'm just going to be quiet now. Right, so... <coughs> Just a bit further. Now this would be a decent place to camp, but it's too much in the open. Get there, get around the back of you as quick as we can. That's it, made it. I think this is a brilliant spot. Plenty of room down there. I'll stick the tent just down here somewhere. I'll get set up as quick as I can because there's about an hour and a half left and it'll be dark, so. See you in a minute. Right. So that's me all set up now. Tents went up great. I've got my little seat there underneath the trees. It's raining a little bit, so that's going to keep the rain off us. I'll give you a quick look at all my gear. Um, it's all budget gear, really. I can never afford the good gear. I work two jobs <laughs> and I'm always skint. I've never got no money. But um, So I look for the bargains. I look for things when they're on sale. I'll show you. So, my little seat was about £15. This Van Gogh tent. I paid £99 for this. I've had it out in all weathers. Wind, rain, rain. Snow, ice, it's done the job. Got me a little table there, 10 pound. A few pots and pans and the stove. I think that was about 20 odd pound. I've got me food and shit there for later. A couple of light bulbs, I've got a pack of three for these light bulbs. Cheap shite, I think there was like three for eight pound. Does the job. In here. I've got this foil roll on the bottom, I think that was £10. Mattress. There you go. That was like £30. 
I've got a better one for when I go camping out in the hills and the mountains. I think the other one cost about 50. Four season sleeping bag. It's just a cheap one, you know, you can pay two, three hundred pound, maybe it's even more for a good sleeping bag. That was just 50 pound, about 12 pound for the pillar. So, pretty much all cheap stuff, but it does the job for me. You don't need the top of the range stuff. It's nice if you can afford it, but just get out, buy some cheap shit. But you can get some cheap stuff, that's good. And I think my stuff's all right, works for me. Anyway, I'm gonna sit and chill out now, put the camera down for a minute. I'm gonna have a 10 minute break. Bring you back in a minute. You know it makes sense. What time is it, guys? Whiskey time. Oh, you better believe it's whiskey time, Mandingos. Lovely, jubbly. Nice, single malt Scotch whiskey. Oh, spot on. Aye. Later on, I'm going to do a whiskey review. So I'm not going to tell you what kind of whiskey it is. I'm not going to tell you what it smells like, what it tastes like. We will do that later on when I'm a bit pissed. Anyone who's watched my channel before knows I normally end up getting drunk, drinking whiskey and beers. And we'll do a whiskey review later on. So, if you use that's new to the channel, you've probably clicked on to watch it because you'll have seen in the, in the title I put uh, Inspired by Steve Wallace. I've been watching Steve's stuff now for about three, maybe it's four years. Absolutely fantastic. Love his channel, love him. And I've been thinking, I've been thinking about doing this for a while. I do go out camping quite often, out in the mountains and by the side of lakes. But I've wanted to do this stealth camping in urban areas. But just finding the time when you're working and, but now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do one every week. So if you like this kind of shit, guys, you know what to do, get subscribing, and I'll bring you a stealth camping video every Sunday. I'm not gonna try and copy Steve. I know he does his step two. Well, I'll do whiskey time and a whiskey review, and I normally get drunk, like I say. Oh, aye, sure. Stay tuned guys, I'm going to sit and I'm going to have a few of these and I'll see you in a minute. You know what I'm talking about. Um. I'm just having a little wander guys, stretch my legs. Just come along to the end here. I don't really want to go any further. There's no security on here but there's another factory over there through the trees through the bushes now i don't know if them's got security on and if i get spotted well this camping trip will be over very soon so i'll just stick behind here i think i'll have a mooch i'll have a mooch about through these trees I need to get past this barbed wire fence. I'll bring you back in a sec. I 
see if I can get through here. There you go. Through. All right, I didn't expect to see this up here. Could have got the tent down here if need be. I'm not going to go any further. But you go through them woods, down the bank, and that takes you onto um, a busy road which leads onto the motorway. It was hard work getting through the trees. Right, I'm gonna make me way. I'm gonna make me way back. Then I'm gonna drink some more whiskey. You better believe I am mandingos. More whiskey. Cheers guys. Right guys, getting hungry, so I think it's time to cook some food. Keeping it simple, these is nice and thin, so the, uh, they should cook quick. Barbecue, pork loins, and some cheap shite, savers, new potatoes. Nice and easy. You know what I'm talking about. Barbecue pork loins sizzling away. Ho oh, ho, I'm looking forward to this. A meal fit for a mandingo. You better believe it is. Nice barbecue pork loins and some new potatoes. Cannot wait. Smells beautiful. When I finish this, when I've a few more whiskies, we'll do the world famous Blood Outdoor Show Waski Review. If you've watched this channel before, you know what it's all about, guys. If you're new to it, stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. This is going to be the biggest stealth camping channel in the world. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Only joking, guys. So there's the barbecue pork loins coat. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting stuck into them. New potatoes is boiling away. Nice. Time to get stuck into some nice hot food. Right guys, it's time to dive into the food. I've been waiting for this lovely jubbly. Here we go. Mm. Oh. And new potatoes is red hot. What I like to do is a bit of the meat, potato. You know what I'm talking about, guys. Right. something so simple these pork loins they were that thin they were cooked in five minutes potatoes two minutes gas stove on full blast boom <whistles> boom
doesn't get much better than this. Don't get me wrong. I love being camping. I love camping on the hills and the mountains and by the side of lakes. But this is absolutely fantastic. Camping somewhere where you shouldn't be. Just the buzz of if you get caught, you're going to get moved on. Or you're going to get wrong off the place or whatever. Fantastic. So like I said earlier on guys, if you like a bit stealth camping, a lot outdoor show, this is where it's at. This is where it's at manding goes. Okay, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Or a thumbs down. Who gives a monkey's chuff? And leave a comment. I will get back to everyone. And that's a promise. Might take two or three days. I'll get back to everyone that leaves a comment. Right, guys. I'm going to eat the rest of this. And then I'm going to crawl in the tent. And do the world famous Blot Outdoor Show Waski Review. You know, makes sense. Oh. Right, folks, I filled my belly nice and full now. So I'm going to go in the tent. I'm going to strip down to my undies because it's, it's pretty warm. I'm going to get my sleeping bag and get snug as a bug. See you in a second. Right. This is what it's all about, guys. Chilling in the tent. Good movie on. Nice coffee. Whiskey review coming up. You better believe it, Mandingos. Oh, yes, guys. Whiskey review time again. And this week, this is what I've got. I know that's back to front for you there. Glen Maria Spearside Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Not much left. I've been sitting, relaxing, watching a movie, supping away at this, but I've kept a bit for the Waski review. Get that in there, Mandingos. So... Not a very strong smell. A little bit fruity. A little bit citrus. Definitely a fruity thing going on. That's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Right. Bitter, straight away. It's a little bit bitter. And it's got a bit oakiness to it. But the bitterness doesn't hang along for long in your mouth, it doesn't hang around for long in your mouth I should say, it fades away quickly.
Now that fruitiness I could smell, it's like a little bit lemon in the taste. And the oak, I'm getting the oak coming through now a little bit more. Anyone who's watching this for the first time, you probably think I'm talking a load of bullshit, but if you look back on the previous videos, we've been doing these whiskey reviews for a good couple of years now. So, check them out if you want to laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. A little bit bitter, but the bitterness... It doesn't hang around for long. I'm getting a little bit of like a lemon taste coming through. A little bit oak. But it's really nice. Anyway, I'm not going to slaver on too much. There, it's there again. Glen Maria. Spearside. Single malt scotch whiskey. It was supposed to be £24 in Asda. A few Americans, that's um, that's Walmart in America, but it's, it's Asda here. It was supposed to be £24, I think it was, and it was on special for 18 So I thought, right, I'll have one of them. So uh, it, it's a good deal. I'm going to give that a very decent 7 out of 10. And that's a pretty good score. That's about it, guys. I'm going to drink the rest of this. And I'll see you later. Glen Maria, 7 out of 10. You know what I'm talking about. And you know what makes sense. Oh... Good morning, Mandingos. <laughs> Slept like a baby. Whew. Well, that's it then. Made it through the night. Nobody came round. I didn't think anyone was going to come round here anyway. Right, I'm going to make a nice coffee now. Nice quick coffee. Then I'm going to pack up and do one. See you in a minute. So that's it folks. I'm all packed up and ready to go. I picked all my shit up. So I'm leaving no litter lying around. And that's the end of this stealth camping trip. I've had a fantastic time. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And if you have, well, please consider subscribing. And I'll bring you another stealth camping video every Sunday. So that's it. See you next week guys, I'm going to do one, see you later, bonjour. <laughs>